imposter syndrome. In this video, we're gonna talk about what is imposter syndrome, why you may sometimes get it, and what you can do about it. This is something I am so passionate about because it's something I have dealt with a lot in my life, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it today. Let's get into it. guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Nay, and on this channel, we talk about how you can increase your self-awareness and live lives that are intentional and unashamed. If that's something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you know when I post on this. Okay, so what is imposter syndrome? Studies show that 70% of people in the world actually have this the fear of being found out. So imposter syndrome is when a person believes that they're not as gifted enough, talented enough, intelligent enough, worthy enough, beautiful enough as people think that they are. They always are constantly thinking that they're gonna be found out, that if only people knew that they're not as good as they are, it's a constant thought in their minds. I have felt imposter syndrome many times in my life, starting this YouTube channel. I can't express to you and this might sound weird, but I can't express to you the fear that goes into my mind every single time I'm gonna put out a video. I can't, that is like the absolute truth. I know my neighbor hears me. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> oh, what if she looks at me? I don't know. Oh, gosh. And that's something that I've even thought of when I was making this video. But because I'm talking about this topic, I'm gonna do it anyway. To show you guys that you are not alone and that this is something we can beat. Let's play a little game. I'm gonna read you guys some quotes from a few people that you may know, some celebrities, some other people that you may know. And you're gonna try to guess who that person is that said it. So let's go. The first one. I went to a lot of events this year. So you get into a tux and try to look like a grown up. But to be honest, I still feel like a freckle-faced kid, faking it until I make it. Who is that? Lying Reynolds. Next one. I love acting and all I ever try to do is my best. But even now, I always dread those emotional scenes. I'm there thinking, I am rubbish and everyone is going to see it. They cast the wrong person. Kate Winslet. The exaggerated esteem in which my work is held makes me very ill at ease. I feel compelled to think of myself as an involuntary Who's that? None other than Albert Einstein. And the last one. I have written 11 books, but each time I think, uh-oh, they're gonna find me out now. I run a game on everybody, and they're gonna find me out. Maya Angelou. How many of those did you guess right? I know when I saw them, I was like, Woof! It made me feel good that I was not in this by myself, and that so many people like you and me also deal with imposter syndrome. So what are some types in this thing called imposter syndrome? According to the medical news today, there are five types of imposters. The first one is the expert. Now the expert bases their worth on things that they know. How many things do I know? How many facts did I know? How many can I spit out? That's what they base their worth off of. Now because an expert expects to know almost everything, they often fear being exposed because of lack of experience or lack of knowledge about something. Number two is the perfectionist. <laughs> I know this one. This type has a tendency to be a micromanager over their own work. They can set extremely high, unattainable standards for themselves. They'll rework and rework and rework until they get it just right and they zone into the very, very minute details that maybe someone else would never even have noticed. For this type, success is really satisfying because it's almost as if they just never did enough. They fear that people would notice the small little details, the small little mistakes or flaws that they notice in themselves and that they'll be seen as a fake. The third one is the natural. For the natural, things usually come so easy for them. Maybe they got all A's in high school, they were the captain of their team, things just became so easy for them. Maybe they got promoted to higher levels without any effort at all. So when something comes along and it takes a little bit more effort, maybe they're trying a new thing and it doesn't come as naturally to them, they can feel shame for it not coming easy the first time around, like everything else did. The fourth one is the soloist. Now the soloist does things all on their own. They don't wanna ask anyone for help, and asking someone for help actually proves that they have a weakness inside of themselves and that I must not be as good as everyone thought I was because now I can't do this by myself. 
they take pride in doing it by themselves and for themselves. And the fifth imposter is the superhero. The superman, the superwoman, the super student, the super professional, any one of these. The superhero measures themselves by how many roles they can juggle. Oh my gosh, did you know I was doing this? Then I was also balancing five kids and I'm also balancing a job plus school plus doing all of these things. I'm doing so many things at once. I'm just amazing. They take pride in how many people they can help or how many activities they can do at the same time. And when they fall short or let the ball fall, they feel shame because they think and they think other people are thinking that they should have been able to handle it all easily and perfectly. I know I can see myself in at least two or three of these. So what do we do about it then? Do we just let these thoughts run rampant in our minds? Or is there a cure when these thoughts actually come back up? There's a cure for it. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you some tips to deal with imposter syndrome so that they do not stop us from doing the things we were meant to do. And that, my friend, is what we'll talk about in the next one. If this resonated, be sure to share this with a friend, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I highly recommend you check out these videos next. Can't wait to see you guys again in the next one. Love you guys.